Blazers win this one 108 105 over the Thunder they bolted out to a lead did the Blazers led by as many as 18 they were up 17 at the end of one Thunder are a good ball club come on you don't win uh, 44 games on the year but without rallying back they did a 16 0 run then the Blazers went on a mini run they actually took the lead at half that was promising I thought that foretold the story to come <laughs> well that's why they say basketball is a game of runs especially with two playoff caliber teams fighting not only to stay in the playoffs but for home court advantage throughout their first round the Thunder best in the NBA forcing turnovers they forced 16 a game so it was no surprise that the Blazers have five turnovers in the second quarter that's what really helped catapult the yep. Thunder to get him back into the game after the Blazers come out and give him a heavy shot and then there was a, a mix-up a scrap it was playoff intensity type of basketball going on in here even CJ McCollum acknowledged it in the post game he said he could feel it with their fan base with how physical the game was after a few technical fouls were called both teams now have to focus in have to gain their composure and I think they both did that that's why the game went down to the wire so it calls for some tough shot making uh -oh. from CJ have it your way McCollum from mid-range from three from inside the paint and then Damian Lillard who struggles from the three-point line in this game going one of seven he makes that one three late in the fourth quarter about 40 seconds or so left to go big shot the Blazers from there just have to get a few stops they get the stops necessary they make the free throws necessary and come away with with definitely one of their best wins of the season Carmelo Anthony comes into the game with about five minutes left in the contest after Jeremy Grant did a terrific job off the bench Grant goes to the bench Carmelo comes in he's not nearly or the defender that Jeremy Grant is and they lost I thought their edge on the defensive end Carmelo though tremendous shooter as we know still missed some big three point shots one at the end that would have tied the game he got a great look in transition as soon as he checked back into the game in the fourth quarter he got three three point attempts up within about a minute and a half and then what you alluded to the game potential tying shot at the end doesn't get any of it to go it was a rough night for him a great night for the Blazers absolutely as they go to 45 and 28 on the year they go to 20 and 15 out on the road and solidify the hold for now anyway for third in the Western Conference.